I think whenever it comes to appeal plays, most of the confusion comes into play, not so much on the batter who is called out on the appeal, but what to do with the other runners who were, may have been on base at the time. So the rule book takes this into account, and it, it, it has a, an additional rule to, to specifically uh, explain uh, what, what to do with these. So this is dealing with other runners uh, during an appeal. And so this rule is broken up into three parts, and so the, the first part states that it talks about if there are less than two outs. So this is unless two are out. Uh, then the status of a following runner is not affected by a, a preceding runner's failure to touch a base. So, so the, the, the status of a following runner is not affected by a preceding preceding uh, runner's failure to touch or, or, or retouch if they have to. Uh, retrace their steps and go back to a previous base a base so so that is the the first part there and so basically uh, the, the there is no effect to that runner in that, that situation so, this, so this, the second part then says that that if the 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 uh, uh, appeal results in a third out then no uh, runners following him are permitted to score. So, if on the appeal uh, the preceding runner is the third out uh, to end the inning, then no runners following him uh, shall score. So basically, it's it's really just like that. Uh, the runner was put out at that base during the play, and then he would be the the third out. And then it goes a, a step further, and and further clarifies that if the uh, appeal play then was a force out, then the preceding runners uh, are not permitted to score either. So if the third out was the result of a force play, then uh, neither preceding nor following runners may score. So this basically just uh, reiterates the, 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 the rule about uh, the third out in the inning being forced force out. So maybe we have a, a runner on third and, and our, we have our, our batter here and then maybe we have a couple fielders. And so if there are two outs in this situation and this batter were to hit a, a ground ball to the second baseman and he would, would field it cleanly and throw the, the batter out at third base, even if this runner on third base reaches home and steps on home plate before this third out is made then his run would not count because it is a force out uh, and so basically this 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 rule here is just uh, stating that, that the same thing applies on an, on an appeal play and so this this sometimes would come into play then when when we have that the quote unquote the fourth out in the inning that, that we looked at in that other video so hopefully that clears up some of the confusion about what to do with other runners during an appeal play